In this video, we will explore the role of capacitance in voltage and energy considerations. Before viewing, please review the definitions of capacitance, electrical potential energy, electric potential. And after viewing this video, please proceed to electric current and circuits. As you recall, electric capacitance is defined as the proportionality between charge and voltage. If we have two parallel conducting plates with a voltage between them, that will induce charges on both surfaces. Because this creates an electric field between the separated charges, this will induce a potential. This means there is potential energy of moving charges between the two plates. As we move the charges, there will be less charge separation. This is known as a discharge. As we have less charge separation, there will be less electric field. As this process happens over time, in calculating the total energy delivered, it doesn't suffice to just substitute in charge into the energy equation, but there is a factor of one half due to the fact that charge reduces as this process happens. Of course, before this process, we need to build that charge separation in the first place. This needs the agent of an electromotive force such as a battery. Once that charge separation is complete, we can reconnect the plates for a complete circuit. This will allow the charges to move. Because the charges are moving through an electric field, they will change electric energy and hence deliver work. We can harness this energy by including a resistive element such as a light bulb along that circuit. Note 
that the rate of delivery is going to depend on the voltage and the total energy delivered will depend on the total charges redistributed and hence the capacitance. Let us now examine how voltage and capacitance enables us to control electrical power delivery. Please navigate to PHET simulations the simulations part select subject electricity allow the java simulations and then capacitor lab basics Select light bulb. You will have a battery that you can change the voltage to. It will be connected to a capacitor parallel plate that it will charge. You may reconnect this plate clicking here to the light bulb upon which the charges will move in the circuit to discharge their energy. The simulator can calculate the charge and energy for you. You can change the capacitance and hence total charge by changing the plate area. The greater the plate area, the more charges you will have available, hence more capacitance and total stored energy. Remember that the charge separation is induced by the electric field in the first place, which drops off with distance. Hence, the greater the separation, the less the electric field, the less charges the electromotive force will separate, and hence lower capacitance.
for parallel plates, the proportionality with area and distance are both linear. Capacitance is directly proportional to area and inversely proportional to distance. Notice the application here for circuits. By sliding two parallel plates past each other, one can change the effective plate area facing each other, hence total charge and stored energy. One can also move the plates towards or away from each other for more control of the same. Let's test your understanding now. Here are going to be two setups. The default setup will start with a battery voltage of 1.5 volts and the plates are set up for a total capacitance of 0.3 picofarads. Here is an alternate setup, still with the same battery, but with a capacitance of 0.1 picofarads. Which of the two setups is going to deliver greater work, hence a brighter flash? Notice that the peak brightness was essentially the same because the voltage across started out the same. However, the duration was different because the total energy stored was less with the lower capacitance. The flash produced in this setup lasted a shorter time. Let's reset for the second puzzle. This time, our initial setup will start out with the 1.5 volt battery and a capacitance of 0.22 picofarads, which will result in a stored energy of 0.25 picojoules. We will contrast this with a capacitance of 0.89 picofarads
and a battery of 0.75 volts. Notice that the stored energy is the same. The question again is, which bulb will produce the brighter flash? In addition, contemplate how quickly the bulbs are going to discharge the plates. Ready? Let's repeat. As you will have noticed, the peak brightness was greater with the greater voltage however the lower voltage and greater capacitance setup discharged the plates a lot slower hence producing a longer lasting flash It is recommended that you play around with the variables, paying attention to the visuals as well as the mathematics until you gain a better understanding. Once you are comfortable, you may move on to the next topic that's going to consider more complicated setups, including multiple capacitors or capacitors with dielectrics. I will see you in the next video.